hey what's up guys welcome back to my channel this is Sriraj Melat back with another video in our react.js series so this is the chapter 3 of our react.js for beginners series in this chapter we will be learning how to add google font with our tailwind react project so we are using tailwind css in our chapter 2 we discussed how to set up tailwind css in our project in the previous chapter we are here we created our first project and applied some tailwind css in this chapter we will be learning how to add google font with our tailwind css react project so this can be quite easy and recently tailwind got upgraded to tailwind css 4 so there is little bit change in the common format of using google font so we will be quickly learning with the latest tailwind css 4 so we have already installed this Tailwind CSS in our project and uh, we are using the Tailwind CSS in our index.css we have already imported here. So now let's quickly learn how to add Google font here. So firstly I gonna open the Google fonts and here we have fonts.google.com uh, we can browse the different fonts available in Google we can use any of the fonts so i'm gonna just apply the popular font google font called roboto so for that i'm just clicking on the font and here roboto has opened so we need to click the get font option to get the font and inside the get font font family is selected here we can see get embed code uh, click on that and here we have the steps for web we can use uh, with the link tag or using import so for now I am choosing import here is the line to be imported I am just copying this line this is for our Roboto font just copy the I am just selecting and copying only this line and coming back to our code here we have already added our Tailwind CSS we have to paste the font code above in the first line so all these kind of URL imports should be in the topmost level of our code here we already have an import for our Tailwind CSS so we have to paste it above the Tailwind CSS otherwise it will throw some error because URL kind of fonts we should load uh, in the topmost level ok now we have imported the code next step is to include the font name in our Tailwind CSS for that I need to add a code just below this uh, I will just refer in one of our blog that is smart code helper just quickly go to smartcodehelper.com here you can just quickly search for the code tailwind google font react you can search this uh, and you will get how to use google fonts with tailwind css4 in react app just click on this blog post so here the detailed steps are given we have done the import step already and next step is to extend the tailwind configuration so copy this code just copying this and coming back to our code and here I am pasting the code so if you have already set up some tailwind configurations in your project then this add theme will be available already here we haven't made any customization with our tailwind css so we are adding add theme and inside the object we are giving font name enter so here we have to add our font name our font is roboto so we are using roboto and here we need to add the roboto font details so for that I am just going to our google font here we have the roboto and sans serif roboto font family roboto I am just copying this and I am using it and another I am adding this this is already same here now we have defined the roboto font family to a tailwind font variable font roboto we are done with the configuration now we can use this font name in our code i am just copying this name and we can use this with our first project so uh, i am just opening up our uh, result here so this is how it looks and i will duplicate this line to apply and see the difference just shift alt plus down arrow key so this will duplicate uh, our line of code so this is a very important shortcut in vs code just select the line and shift alt and down arrow key it will duplicate the line so for now we only need uh, two lines okay so now we can apply the google font for the newly created line so for that just modify the class name and here we can paste the one we copied 
that is a font roboto font roboto is a variable we declared inside our tailwind configuration okay i am saving the changes and let's check the output and just reloading our wheat project uh, it's showing something wrong we are not running the project i'm coming to the terminal and just running the project npm run dev and let's see the changes yeah the project is running in 5173 yeah bingo you can see the difference here so the now the font is applied that's why it looks a little bigger you can see the code is same the text is same we haven't given any size but it looks a little bit different that means our font is applied how we can cross verify this you can verify by right clicking and clicking on inspect and you can see font roboto in the class okay now the css class is loading font roboto and if we come little down uh, you can see the default font is ignored and and you can see the font roboto sans serif is used instead and also you can check the with same with the first one right click inspect that is the element one uh, we are in the elements tab when we right click and inspect the font family is the default font that is a helvetica arial sans serif default font so when it comes to the second it's the roboto font the default font is getting ignored the default font is not taken replaced with the custom google font we have added so that's how easily we can add any kind of google font you can browse a lot of fonts inside google font different kinds of fonts are available whatever font you, you need you can use so that's how easily we can add a google font with our project so in our project we will be having stylish fonts we may be using one font for the heading another font for the body like that so hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial so what we did is we just uh, imported the google font url then we added the font with our tailwind settings only two steps then we use the font variable inside the class name so that's how easily we can add google font with our tailwind react project hope you guys enjoyed this chapter 3 of our react js series do like share and subscribe this is sriraj melat signing off